Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more King of Avalon. Today we're going to be talking about some of the in-game packs you can buy in the game. King of Avalon is a free-to-play game, meaning that everyone can pick up the game and start playing. But there are some things that money can buy in this game. A whole lot of things if you check out the in-game store actually. To make sure that you get the most bang for your buck, if you're going to get an edge in the game, the community has settled on a top 10 of packs which are most worth to go for. Let's check them out. We start things off with something you can get in the late game, meaning when you're already far into the journey. Once your stronghold reaches level 30, you're going to need a special resource called Noble Badges in order to upgrade past that coveted level 30. If you haven't been saving these up since the beginning of the game, or if you simply need a little extra boost of these Noble Badges and 2000 gold, this is the pack for you. 140 Noble Badges is nothing to sneeze at after all, and it is sure to help you out. Looking to get a little cash? Maybe a little influx on resources? Then the daily deal is for you. It is often priced at 99 cents. Uh, the daily deal changes, well, daily. Most of the time you can get a good amount of golden coins, or even some golden horns. And let's face it, who couldn't use a few more golden coins every now and again? Everyone runs out of resources every now and again. Whether you've been a little trigger happy with upgrading a lot of buildings, training a lot of troops, or you were attacked by enemies, the building bundles have your back. Millions of resources can be gotten here, but you don't get the same amount of resources for every pack. Going by the cheapest one available, you can still get a respectable amount of resources. Personally, I prefer the timber package at $4.99, since it gives you a whopping 30 million wood. Dragon skills are basically little extra loot boxes, but the payoff for getting any Draconic Stone for your collection is such a huge boon that going for one of these as soon as a level 3 stones unlock is worth your while. On top of being able to grant you Dragon skills, which can help you out immensely, you usually get a massive power boost as well for yourself and your dragon, making this a very worthwhile pack to go for, whether it is golden or silver skills. The Honor Pass is a system where you can get free goodies, depending on your actions, which makes it a fan favorite among many players. Something extra that you can get in the Honor Pass, however, is Challenger Quests, but you need the keys to open these. The keys to these chests can be gotten in the Honor Pass itself, but soon you'll have more chests than you know what to do with. Getting a few extra keys with these packs to gain the special loot inside might be worth your while. Not to mention that opening a certain amount of chests in this event guarantees you a super chest with even better loot. Ah, the growth hunt. This will steadily release 30,000 gold into your care as you level up your stronghold. Considering the value of gold when you buy it as is, this is a great deal for you to get. There's really nothing more to say. Who doesn't love gold? Rolling back to the Honor Pass for number 4 real quick, you can also buy additional passes to gain even more reward in these events. A total of 2 extra tiers can be gotten here, giving you an immense amount of resources, challenger chests and even extremely valuable things such as dragon skills. You don't have to buy both of the Honor Passes to go for it though, even just buying the one will already be a significant boom to your bag. Now we're starting to get into the good stuff. In the number 3 spot, we have one of the very first packs you can buy as you begin the game. It is Evain the Bestower. Evain boosts a myriad of skills, such as your construction speed, instant building speed, training capacity and speed, research speed and even your healing speed. All of these traits make her one of the best heroes in the game. Her fragments, however, are difficult to get. And rounding up 20 of them can already be a chore. 
The first Vein pack you see here is only 99 cents and you can get it in the beginning of the game. Having her at your side as you build up your kingdom is going to be an amazing advantage. Upgrading buildings can take a long time, especially later in the game. Now, how would you like to make that literally two times faster? Do I have your attention? Good. The extra builder pack for five bucks is going to be your best friend in the game. It'll allow you to have two building slots instead of one, doubling the speed at which you can upgrade your kingdom. On top of getting that builder slot, you're also awarded with a bunch of resources and speed ups to let you make full use of once you unlock the second builder slot. Some might argue that King of Avalon is a war game, and to a certain degree they'd be right. Aside from fighting against the dark forces of the evil witch Morgana, you can also face off against other players in massive combat situations. But you know what's even more important than enemies? Allies. Joining an alliance not only gives you tons of allies to work together with, but also allows you to reap a bunch of benefits, including access to an alliance store where you can use a resource called individual merit that you build over time by simply playing the game. The alliance boost pack right here allows you to double the rate at which you gather it, double how much you can gather of it, and allows you access to a special row in the top of your alliance store, granting you access to some seriously good items. You can buy the alliance pack once every 30 days, allowing you to enjoy its crazy good benefits for an entire month. You can even choose to not get it for a month if you feel like you've gathered a really good amount of individual merit the month before. All in all, the extra merit, access to better things in the store, and its relatively low price make this the number one the community chose for us. It is simply so good. Those were the top 10 packs here in King of Avalon as chosen by the community. Did you agree with the list we made? Do you feel like another pack was supposed to be in the list? Let me know in the comments down below. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you again here next time for more King of Avalon. But until then, Bye-bye!